Hello everybody and welcome to our feedback for Turmoil for the game workshop and game production classes. Um, first of all, we're going to take a look at the document, the readme document that was provided for Turmoil and going along the different bullet points. First of all, starting from feel of the levels and environment. First, the first question is how did the levels and environments in Turmoil contribute to the overall experience? Uh, overall, they excelled in setting the scene and told the story with visuals really, really well. The visual storytelling was really stellar. Were there any specific environments or levels that you found particular, particularly immersive or lacking in immersion? Um, the level where there are gray fenced off areas with a pile of blue cubes f felt visibly jarring, but other than that, the level clutter made the levels feel immersive. Did the environments effectively convey the sense of turmoil? If so, how? There is definitely a sense of disorganization and chaos in the factory from the environmental details. This was really well done. Going now to the balance of the abilities, do you find the abilities in turmoil to be well balanced in terms of powers and usefulness? First of all, the steam ability fell slightly lacking in effectiveness compared to the fire and oil ability combo. Were there any abilities that you felt were overpowered under or underutilized? The steam move specifically for a little bit felt a little bit underutilized compared to the other two elements. How did the balance of the abilities affect your gameplay experience? Um, like we said before, definitely the oil and fire combo with the punches felt really strong compared to the rest of ability options. Moving on to the display of cooldowns, um, the cooldowns were all very intuitive and clear. Uh, they were really easy to track during gameplay and the having the cooldowns on the screen really helped us uh, make the decisions on what abilities to use depending on those cooldowns. Moving on now to narrative. Uh, the four image cuts in at the beginning, we thought that it provided sufficient context for the most part, but the last image does not provide enough context to imply that the robots are going back to attack the player character, as the robots are just shown looking at the character without emotion or violent body language. However, this is fixed right afterwards where the, when the boss uh, gives a little message speaking about the, uh, the need to pursue the player. Um, the, our understanding of the story basically summarizes in a factory worker that had his arm stuck in a machine and had to yank it out, damaging his arm. His boss ordered the other robots within the factory to go after the worker, leading to the player needing to fight, to fight their way out. We feel like this game does not fail in representing the story conveyance. Um, the narrative seems clear and easy to understand. Although the boss's announcement could be made a little bit larger on the screen for it to seem more alarming and ensure the player reads it. In terms of additional feedback, uh, we found the game controls to be somewhat intuitive, although a note on the controls menu for the PC controls would be greatly appreciated. The, there were not any aspects of the control scheme that we found frustrating, and the elements of the game that best represent the theme of Turmoil were definitely the environment design and the elemental reactions mechanic. There were no uh, aspects of the game that did not that align that did not align with the expectation of turmoil. Everything seemed very clearly um, representative of that theme. The main suggestion that we have to enhance the game's representation of turmoil or to improve their responsiveness to player choices in general would be about improving the animations for the attacks, um, basically making them feel a little bit more weighty, maybe having some more anticipation in the beginning and then some more payout a little bit later into the animation. Um, adding controller rumble and screen shake to make the feedbacks of attacks feel better as well could be a great a great change into making the combo combat feel more weighty and also adding more engagement throughout the level from the boss such as talking to the player more throughout the level could probably make the boss have more of a personality in the level um, now we're going to be moving on to the bug list that we have for the game first of all in the a tier of, of, of bugs the most severe one that we had was one where one of our testers broke the game while walking off an invisible wall into darkness these spaces are supposed to be doors but some of them just work like a infinite chasm where the player can fall on basically there are doors that do not have colliders and just cause the player to fall down into the void moving along to b the severe bugs um one of our testers, testers found that they killed all the enemies but could not progress through the level at all because of the lack of interactivity on this door 
Moving now to C, general bugs. Uh, first of all, there's no way to start a new game from the beginning, only load a new one. So whenever you restart the game to play it one more time, the opening cutscene does not play. The cutscene only plays once and does not play again when you restart the game over. Then, when trying to interact with the workbench, the A button on the Xbox controller worked not necessarily all of the time. It was a little bit inconsistent, depending on the starter location of the player where they were standing when pressing the A button. Also, sometimes robots could clip through walls when punching them, killing them in one shot. Moving now to D, the minor bugs, uh, we did find a circumstance where the health bar seemed to go down as a player walked around with no reason for it. Now moving finally into the considerations, we only have a few, uh, taking into account that we already talked about the uh, game uh, testing feedback document. The considerations that we have is that for one of our testers, there was a really loud sound cue that activated seemingly out of nowhere when the player walked around the red garage section in the, in the first level. I don't know what triggered that sound cue. It's really loud though. And not stopping. Also, the menu controls sometimes work, stop working inadvertently. The back button does not work on controller, only on keyboard when in the options menu. Finally, we did feel like the background cutscene did was a little bit too long. Um, one of our testers had this feedback. That's pretty much it for everything that we got in terms of our both the bug list and also the feedback from the testing document. Thank you for watching and uh, happy building.